Karya Binaik Bungamati. Karya Binaik is situated in Bungamati, Lalitpur, and is one of the major Vinayaks in Kathmandu Valley. The local people have held great reverence for Karya Vinayak for countless years. Karya means action and Vinayak refers to Ganesh. Worshipping Karya Vinayak is a customary way to make a vow to successfully complete a challenging task. It is named Karya Vinayak because it helps initiate actions that were previously undone. The tradition of worshipping Karya Vinayak on a plain, unsafe stone continues. While other Vedic tradition involves offering pure and simple offerings like Laddu and Pera to Lord Ganesh, who is considered the son of Siva and Parvati, in Kathmandu Valley, which follows the Tantra tradition, Ganesh is regarded as the leader of Ganas. Based on this belief, there is a tradition of animal sacrifices such as chicken, dog, sheep, and buffalo. According to the local elders, the tradition of worshipping here has been going on since before Lichibu period. However, during the time of Lichibu King Narendra Dev, when he went to get Rato Machinra Nath in Kamura Kamaksha, there is a legend that Karya Siddhi was worshipped here. Karya Binaik has a rich history intertwined with the river god Rato Machinra Nath. In ancient time, when a devastating 12-year drought plagued the Kathmandu Valley, resulting in deaths of thousands, the king of all three cities joined force to find a solution. They brought Rato Machinra Nath, the guru of Goraknath, to the valley to pursue it, Goraknath to release all the nine holy serpents. These serpents had the divine task of bringing rain to the Kathmandu Valley, but were trapped beneath the meditating Goraknath, who used them as Kusan. According to genealogical records of the Gopas, the ruling ethnicity of that era, Karya Binaik, was established to invoke good luck for the success completion of the Rato Machinonath Temple, which was about to begin. Every year, during the auspicious date and time of Mangsir Purnima, the full night in the month of Mangsir in Nepali calendar, a ceremony takes place that involves the simultaneous worship of both Rato Machinonath and Karya Binaik. This ritual can be witnessed in Bungamati. Karya Brinaik is brought to the Rato Machinrana temple and circled three times around it, after which it is taken to the priest home. This marks the conclusion of the festival. The point where the waters from Karya Binaik and Machinra Bahal merge is known as Karuna Tirtha. This confluence is located in the southern gorge of Karya Binaik temple area. In the historical records, the mention of Bungamati's action can be traced back to Nepal Sambat 501 which correspond to the year 1380-80. This reference can be found in the play Ramang written by the poet Dharma Gupta. However, according to the inscriptions discovered at Karya Vinayak, the temple Devasaya was officially established during Nepal Sambat 781, which equates to the year 1661-80. The establishment was accomplished by utilizing the resources of the Chaturdasi Guti, a religious trust and the collective efforts of 11 local residents from the Banda Sakya community. The initiative was led by leader Purna Singh of Bungamati and this significant event took place on Krishna Saptami Thursday during the month of Chaitra. It's noteworthy that this occurred during the early days of King Srinivas Malla's rule in Patan. Inside the Karyavinayak temple, worship is conducted using the naturally formed Ganesh shaped stone. In addition to the original stone idol, there is also an idol of Ganesh adorned with intricately crafted silver. Once a year, during the festival of Lukuchare, Goda Jatra, a golden idol of Ganesh is unveiled and placed in Bungamati under the chariot of Karya Vinayak for a special reverence and worship. The Karya Vinayak temple features a roof made of brass and copper. At the entrance, designed in charred architectural style, you can find stone lion belts and Asian houses shoot idols on all four sides. While a rat is traditionally considered the symbol of Ganesh's vehicle, Asian house shoe is used as a symbol here. Unlike many temples, Karya Vinay does not house a man-made idol of Ganesh. Instead, a natural stone resembling an elephant is worshipped as Karya Vinay and a temple has been constructed atop it. Karya Vinayak is also revered as the garden deity of traders and those involved in commerce. Devotees visit Karya Vinayak before commencing any new endeavor to seek success in their undertakings. 
The temple experiences a significant influx of devotees, particularly on Tuesday and Saturdays. Most of the priests serving in this temple bear the surname Tulatar, and this group of priests is known as the Nau Pujari Sangha. In the local parlance of Bungamati, this place is referred to as Gali, signifying a forested area. As such, Kare Vinayak is also renowned for Banbos, a forest feast. People traditionally worship Kare Vinayak before embarking on any new work or project, seeking the blessing of success. Thank you.